So Tess, what is placemaking? So placemaking is, it's about working with community to empower them to build their own places. Um, it's very exciting, very exciting times and a very innovative way for, for a council to operate. And Hindley Street West is one of the place pilot areas that okay. we're focusing on initially. It's all right, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, rock man. Yeah. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm well, thank you. What do you think about Hindley Street here? Hindley Street? Yeah, the west side of it, you know, like going down to the terrace. There's you... definitely some good falafel places along there. There's some good cocktail bars around. I really like Kushti, so, you know. Okay. I so like going out there. Down, down there. Definitely. From Morfitt down to West Terrace. From Morfitt down to West Terrace. Oh, how would I describe it? Oh, personally, I find this end just a bit kind of iffy. That's, that's right, my best yeah. way to describe it. Yeah, like, yeah. I find if I was to spend time on Hindley Street, it's definitely down the other end most okay. of the time. Do you find this sort of area, part of town, a bit dodgy? And... Yeah, it's a bit dark and gloomy. You kind of want to stay out of it. It's really about the community being hands-on and council being a facilitator too in helping those things happen. But yeah. it's, it's more about empowering and enabling the community to to take some things on themselves. Do you use that that part of Hindley Street from like Morfitt down to West Terrace? Oh, not in a few years now. What would get you to go down there again, do you think? Oh, I'm all about relaxation areas. I'm all about the trees and the greenery and a nice place to sit out and chill out. Maybe have more public toilets. More public toilets? Because that's the route all the way to HQ, so obviously people start urinating on the floor as people walk up there. Oh, no. That's probably the only thing I can think of. Really? Is it, is it got... is it smelly? Oh, yeah. Try walking up there on Sunday morning, you can smell... Yeah? Yeah, from the night before. I will. I'm going to try it. <laughs> this Sunday, I'm going to go up there. I don't know, maybe some more Mexican food. More, more burritos, yeah, more burgers. Yeah. Can't get enough like, little burger stores, yeah. <laughs> Just more of a community feel around the area. Which is what it and really needs. And a bit more needs. trees, some greenery. More I trees. I think it needs greenery. Yeah, yeah, man, there's too much concrete, isn't it? Too there? much concrete. Yeah, Bring I, on I some greenery. See, we've, we've brought our own grass in. It's very nice. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. It's, it's nice. I mean, it'd be better if it was real. I know, I know, but I've had to make do with what I've got. Can you help me up? My yes, trousers sure. are a bit tight. All right, <laughs> thanks very much. So when will that, you know, you actually see the results of what's happening? Hopefully soon. Um, if, if people have an idea that's easy to implement for them straight away, then that's something that can happen immediately. So you might see things happening as soon as you know, next week or it could be the next couple of months. But okay. um, yeah, not too distant future. And so what you try to create, I guess, is then a legacy through this project that goes into all over the city so people yeah take back Absolutely. the city themselves I guess yeah that's right this is a pilot to show I guess what can be done yeah and there are other areas in the city that are already doing this and they're they're already placemaking and that's a lot more meaningful than council coming in and doing it for them